Hey guys, King of the North here, back with some more Chrono Trigger. Last episode, we started to push through the Mountain of Woe. Took a little longer than I would have liked with uh, discussing various things. Uh, one being this being an optimal area to grind out XP or tech points to progress characters that you might not have been using. Uh, so we do have a exciting part of the game coming up. I'm looking forward to doing this. I didn't want the other episode getting too long, so this is going to get its own episode. Grab these items from here. And we are in good shape. I believe I used the shelter at that save point. Cross this chain. There's a block of ice here, kind of like what Ozzy hit himself in. Goover of Life's trapped in here. Chrono, look! And this is Giga Gaia. You're gonna see why I picked Ayla to be with me in this fight in a second here. She has a dual tech with Chrono that works perfectly here. But the boss does start off doing a double attack, which kind of sets you back a little bit, but I'm hoping Marl will be able to stay on top of heals here. I'm going to do Falcon hit on the arms. That's exactly why I picked her to be here, is for the Falcon hit, does both hands at the same time. One hand, I think it's the hand on the right-hand side that heals. Yeah, the defense arm revives the head. It does healing. So you'll want to get that down. The other one's like a DPS uh, spec or whatever. So getting them both down at the same time allows you to get more damage in, obviously, but takes them down at the same exact rate. Because I believe they have the same amount of health. Chrono here. And this is actually a good time to probably just have Gala heal herself. And I'm going to use Ice Sword 2 on the head here. Use a mid time for herself. If she wasn't so far behind on healing right now, uh, I'd probably... Actually, this, there are the hands are coming back. If she wasn't so far behind, I'd probably have her do a hit on this as well. I'm gonna top Ayla off here. So as the hands come back, they have less HP than the previous time. charge is pretty quick. It's almost as quick as Chrono's. So if she does get an attack in here and the hands come up, uh, I can get another Falcon hit off pretty quickly. Alright, the restoration's here. I'm gonna switch back to Ayla here. Get a Falcon hit in with his hands. Ice Sword 2 on the head. I'm actually going to have her do another attack. Considering he hasn't been able to get any hits off. And yeah, this is why I gave the gold stud to Chrono. Because he's being he's using dual text between Ayla and all at the same time. So, as you see, he still has more 
MP than everybody else. Still in here? And he's been using the boost in the deck. Uh, going to throw a mid ether on Marl here. And I gotta get a bobbing hit off here. So he's getting an attack off, which it's alright, it's not a big deal. Eventually you gotta re- you gotta pull off the gas a little bit and balance things back out with the tonic, obviously. You can't just go completely in to run out and stop anyway. This will allow us to get an ice sword back in. I'm going to have her use a good tonic on people here. Okay, boss is down. So yes, that is Giga Gaia. It's a lot easier having Ayla in the party without her. I, I don't think there's really an optimal way to get two hands down at one time. Level up. Ayla leveled up. And the block of ice. Turns. Boom. Melchior. Indeed, I am Melchior. Have we met before? So this is before, obviously, uh, the time that we've talked to him, the Chrono's time period. But it's it's kind of interesting to see that he was here in 12,000 BC. More importantly, can you tell me anything about the Ocean Palace? I see. The Queen has degenerated to that degree. The more energy the Mammon Machine absorbs, the further the Queen degenerates. Her spirit has been stolen by the infamous Immortal Lavos. We must flee. The seal has been broken. The mountain will collapse. So defeating King and Gaia basically destroys this mountain. The mountain of woe is about to crumble. Mommy, the mountain's gonna fall. Hang tight, guys. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Lavo sleeps deep, deep underground while consuming the energy of this planet. If the Mammon Machine is brought closer to him, he may awaken. We must hurry before it's too late. Elder, Shala is here. What? Shala's here? As the one kid said, uh, Shala does come and visit. Miss Shala, why have you come to such a miserable place? Stop degrading yourselves. We Enlightened Ones were once the same as you. The only difference is that we are under Lavos' control. What a filthy hovel. Janice is a bit of a dick. Mokior, after the Mountain of Woe fell, I thought I would find you here. Is it safe for you to leave the palace? That no longer matters. The Ocean Palace is now operational. Then all is lost. But without me, the Mammoth Machine won't work. I have turned my back on that evil device. I've kept the Skyway open. Hurry, you must stop my mother. Why don't we keep it right there? Dalton. Tiss, tiss, my dear. Your presence is required elsewhere.
Dalton, leave her alone. Ah, the geezer speaks. Silence, old man. Damn, I'm gonna break his hip. You'll come to the Ocean Palace with me. Do anything funny and Shala's dust. Got it? Shala! Damn, Janice got, got smacked. The Queen's children all seem to have a problem with authority, don't they? Stay back. The life of this woman means nothing to me. Shall we get going, Shala, dear? Your mother awaits. I don't think she has a choice. She looks like she's knocked out. And here we are. Let's talk to Monkey R. See how he's doing. Old man. Okay. I'm all right. But we must save Shala, or else. Impossible. Even though it's coming from you, Melchior. If the Queen is allowed to fulfill her scheme, all life as we know it is doomed. You're willing to challenge the Queen? Damn right. Rona's a badass. You've done so much for us, I don't even know your names. You'll find out soon enough. Well, maybe in like, uh, I don't know, 2,200 years. What are you talking about? Chrono, we go now. Wait, take this with you. It's made from the same red stone as the Mammoth Machine. With it, you can destroy the machine. It's got one ruby knife. I, bl I don't believe that is a weapon. I think it's just uh, an item. Yeah, it's a usable item. Alright, so... Shal has been abducted, but without sorcery, we can't do a thing. Well, I don't think they really care about what's going on here now they have the Ocean Palace. Sir Janice is headed towards the Skyway. Save Miss Shala. Is Miss Shala alive? Well, we're gonna find out. She said she opened the Skyway, so let's head over to the Skyway and see how that looks. She wasn't the one that sealed it, so I don't know why she was so upset when it was sealed. She had the power to unseal it. Looks like it's open. Alright, so we are back here in the heavens again. This is the one over here that she closed before in the past, I don't know. I do know we left our time machine, basically, on that other continent. <laughs> so hopefully we don't need to bring that or anything. Great. Well, we're back in the Kingdom of Zeal. I think I'm going to call this an episode here. It's short, but uh, Giga Gaia deserved his own episode. Super fun boss fight, uh, especially if you're, you uh, have a strategy for the mechanics. Um, next episode, we will go after the Queen to save Shala and stop her from prematurely activating Lavos. So feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in a different time. Peace.